Hey guys, welcome back. So I've been watching a lot of Downton Abbey recently, and I know I've gotten lots of requests for it in the past. So today I'm going to show you how to do Lady Mary's wedding hair at the very beginning of season three. The actual styling part, you know, where you like form up your hair and bobby pin or whatever is not too hard. The more difficult part of this style is getting the very soft finger waves that she has on the side. Now you can do it with like a hot curler set, gel finger waving where you use your fingers and you comb around. But all of that takes a lot of time and is hard to do on someone else, let alone on yourself. So I'm going to show you a quicker and simpler way to get those waves just using a straightener. The specific straightener I'm using is by Style House. I got it from VanityPlanet.com. Firstly, it needs to have ceramic plates like it does here. Ceramic evenly distributes the heat, which you need all across the blade. You also need floating blades, which if you can see here means when you press it down, there's a little bit of give. And much like you need even heat, you need even pressure to make this successful. You can get something like this straightener, and in fact I have a major discount code for this. You can get this for $39.99 I think it was when it's originally up in the hundreds, which is huge. And I wouldn't be promoting that if I didn't like the straightener. You're also going to need bobby pins and lots of hairspray to hold things in place. And when you're ready, let's get started. Alright, so to get started on this style, first section off the hair for your finger waves. Make a side part that falls over one eye, then grab a chunk from the large side that runs from your forehead back to about where your part disappears. It should also be only an inch or two in width from side to side. Pin this section forward for now to keep it separate. Find another chunk from the other side of your part, running front to back from forehead to the end of your part and just an inch or two wide from side to side. Clip this hair forward as well. Tie the rest of your hair into a ponytail to keep it out of the way for now. Next we're going to make the finger waves. Even though this is easier than the other methods I mentioned, this is still a tricky technique so I suggest practicing this a few times to get the hang of it. Unclip your larger forward section and comb it smooth. Give it a shot of heat protectant. Even better, if you have a heat protectant with some styling hold, use that. Comb again to distribute the product. Here comes the tricky part. You're going to need to form curves in this section of hair so it makes an S pattern running all the way down the strand. So grab your heated straightener, clamp it onto the section around eye level, and pull the straightener backwards so the hair makes a forward facing C shape. Tap all over this bend in the hair with your straightener in order to heat up the hair. Then grab an alligator clip and pin this section of hair to your head, positioning the clip into the crook of the C-bend. Make sure the bend is still evident because we need the hair to cool into the shape. Now right below that clip, form the hair into a C-bend facing backwards. Tap the straightener all over this bend for several seconds to heat it through. Place another clip into this bend to hold it in place as well. Right below the pin, make a C-shape facing forward, heat the bend with the straightener, pin the shape to your head, and so on. Continue this styling pattern down the length of the strand of hair. Now unclip the hair on the other side of your part and do the same thing. Comb it smooth, apply your styling heat protectant, distribute the product, and start making alternating C-shapes. Heat these curves with a straightening iron and clip the shapes to your head in the crook of the bend. Continue this all the way down the length of the hair. When it's completely cool, you can take the clips out and hopefully you will have this nice soft wave pattern. Since my hair is rather long and heavy, I don't want these waves to stretch out while I do the rest of the style, so I'm bunching up the section along the wave pattern and clipping to the front of my head for now. Next we'll make the low bun. Undo the ponytail holding the rest of your hair and comb it all smooth. Now split the hair in half and start twisting the left section upwards. Pin this twist horizontally across the lower back of your head, right above your back hairline. 
This low position is important because if you make the bun too high, the hairstyle won't have that faux bob look that Mary has. When the twist is pinned across the back of your head, pick up the rest of your hair, twist it upwards, and pin it horizontally in the other direction directly underneath the first twist. If your hair is on the shorter side, it may only reach this far, so if that's the case, then you're done with the bun. But if you still have more hair, curve this twist up along the side of the first twist, and pin it along the top of the first twist as well. Grab the other tail of hair, keep twisting it, wrap it around the right side of the forming bun, and pin it along the bottom of the other twist. Eventually the bun will start forming over bare skin on the back of your neck and you won't have any more head hair to pin it to, so in that case only pin the twists to the sides of the bun, but pin it well so the length along the bottom doesn't droop. One important thing to remember for this bun is that it should be completely below that slight bump in the back of your head. Otherwise the silhouette is much different. This is why it was important to pin the twists really low, so keep that in mind as you're forming the bun. Keep wrapping and pinning these twists in this manner until you get to the hair ends, at which time you should tuck them under the bun to hide them and pin secure. Now take out the clips holding the finger waves. Gently drape the hair back towards the bun without stretching the waves, and bobby pin to the top side of the bun. If you have any extra hair, twist it and pin it around the bun like we were doing before. Do the same with the other side of finger waves. As a final touch, Mary wore this beautiful silver foliage headband for her wedding. I don't actually own a headband right now, but I have this fancy hair comb, so I'm going to add this to the top side of my hair to mimic the effect of the headband. And there you go, Mary's wedding hair in Downton Abbey. If you want to see more period show hair like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel Sivu Plates by clicking on the links on this screen. And again, if you would like to buy a hair straightener like the one I was using in the video, I've got a link to it as well as a big discount code in the video description box. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again!